Okay, for the next trick, we're gonna make a performance template. <clears throat> and um, earlier I uploaded, hold on, this is loud. Earlier I uploaded uh, what I think is a, um, let me check my levels. Yeah, earlier I uploaded what I think is a, uh, a good subgroup video. And it was really quick. Now I'm going to show you how to set up a performance template. And some of that information is going to be used here. So you probably want to check that out. First thing I'm going to do is uh, load a new blank set. Um, you're probably going to, you know, I'm, my audio microphone is going to get cut off for a moment. Hold on. Okay, now you don't want any uh, tracks in your template, so um, you, 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 you might, but I don't want any, so I'm going to delete both of these. And uh, the idea of a performance template is I want all of the subgroups to be pre-established um, with what I need for them. And um, I also need to have my macro knobs set up for performance. Generally, I leave this one blank for whatever I need it for. These two are sends to subgroup two, which is synthesizers. And I have send one and send two, which is generally a reverb and an echo. Then the same for the drums, which is subgroup three, and that's reverb echo. I have stutter here, which is basically X, Y, F, X, um, the beat repeat, brrr, and then I have the timing of the beat repeat. And then on the main channel, on this one here, I generally have a high pass filter that I can sweep in and add an eighth um, note echo. So let's get that started. First off is I want to go to mixer, I want to go to the master, I want to go to effects. I want to change these. I'm going to call this bass because that's how I always have subgroup one is bass. Subgroup two is a different color and it's called synth. Subgroup three is a different color as well and that is drums. Okay. Another thing I do on subgroup three is right off the bat I add a limiter. Okay. And that limiter I might give it a little bit of boost but generally I leave the boost uh, until I have some drums in there to see how much I need, okay? Now, returns, sends and returns. So over here on return one and return two, the force automatically populates reverb and delay. That's absolutely fine, but I do want to go to hall for the reverb. I wanna select cathedral and I pretty much leave that alone, okay? And delay see I want a huge massive reverb when I send it and I can send the depth amount with the macro knobs later it doesn't have to be um, as much there anyway you'll see what I mean preset for the delay I usually use the dotted eighth and then I set the time to dotted fourths okay leave the sync on I want the feedback to be past 50% and I want the mix to be you know 70% or so Okay, now the main output on the third one here, I usually put in some modulation, um, which is the XYFX. Whoops, it's not modulation, sorry, it's actually harmonic. And I choose the XYFX and I select that piece and then I go in here and I turn this Y axis all the way up because that's the filter. It's a low pass filter beat repeat. I don't need the filter. Somebody might use the filter, but that's not me. Um, I use a kill switch on the first one. So um, I guess EQ filter and use a kill EQ. And then on the next one, another delay for the main signal and this time I will use the dotted eighth and I'll leave it dotted eighth. I might turn the mix up a tad and the feedback up just a bit. The mix is up really high, but when it, when it puts it in, I, I might adjust that later, okay? 
Now, in the menu, I'll go to Macros. I want to change the macro mode to Project 1. Now, the force with the new updates has started populating some of these knobs, and I don't need any of this stuff, so I'm going to get rid of it. Um, it might be useful to me, but in the end, I really just want to add things myself. So in the first knob, I'm going to leave this one blank. In the second knob here, this is going to be send. This is going to be since, which is subgroup two, send to reverb and echo. So right off the bat, we're going to go to learn mode, go back to the mixer. I'm still in master mode, okay? And I go to sends. Number two is the synth. Okay, I've already touched this knob. I want to grab send one, and you have to adjust each parameter just a tad so that it learns. Number two, to send two, which is synth echo. Number three, drums to reverb. Number four, drums to echo. Number five, back to effects. Number five, XYFX. I want number five to be enabling the stutter, and number six to be the timing, okay? Now this guy here, I'm going to send to the low cut, okay? And I'm going to send it to the air delay mix, okay? Now, let's go back to macros and turn learn off, okay? For subgroup two, which is the synths, I don't need these to be adjusted at all. If I add a little, it can stay there. That's fine. I'll use what's called automation snapshot to snap these back to zero if need be for certain scenes. The drums, however, I want them to be momentary so that when I turn them up and let go, they turn off. Both of these momentary. I also want the beat repeat engage to be momentary. So when I turn it off, on, and let go, it turns it off. Now, furthermore, I'm going to use this little up arrow to give me some more options. And on the drum send, I also want it to toggle. So that as I'm holding it down, it immediately engages to full, and I let go, and it stops. Same thing here. Engage, let go. Same thing here. All right, now, this guy here is gonna be a little different. I want this to be momentary. I don't want it to be a toggle, okay? The air delay, this is where I might not want it to go max out at 100%. I might max this out at 50, okay? Um, and it's through for the, the, the low pass, uh, excuse me, the low EQ kill switch. It's through right now, which is normal play, but when I turn that up, it kills it, all right? Now, all of this is good. This is exactly what I need. This is my basic performance paradigm. So what I wanna do is I want to save project as. Now, I call everything that you save in the forest, including this maybe for you. You want to put on your SSD or your SD card or some other location besides the internal unit. However, for me, this untitled save as template in internal, this is where I keep it because it's not taking up a lot of space and uh, the Akai ships with at least one project in here anyway. So save. Are you sure you want to overwrite? Yeah, yep, I'll overwrite. So now, my stuff is straight, okay? Let's get out of master. If I go here, it's uh, gonna cut out sound again, okay? Throw in a new. Okay. So as you can see, it loaded up everything that we just created, okay? So how is this useful? Well, every time you open up the force, you turn on this, this piece, and um, you add a key group, and um, load from your hard drive some stuff. Let's see, uh, oh, sequential six track, love this.
Remember that? And uh, let's let's load up. Um, let's go back. Load up a drum track. And um, we'll go to the content. This is just load up that kit that I probably have never even heard before. Let's load, uh, load up another drum track and let's load something from the hard drive that I created. Let's try, um, boom. actually um, hybrid neuro expansion is good. Whoops, back, projects. Where is all my stuff? I think I messed with that actually. Um, let's go up, dirty drums. Let's grab number four and load it up. And back to the matrix, let's load up a plugin, okay? And uh, let's go to OpX4 because I have it and I haven't used it. <laughs> let's go to note configuration. Probably could have set all this up before, but I wanted to show you exactly. Okay, so now I have these things. I know this is a synth. If I go to the mixer, actually I'll use this as a baseline. And uh, I'll go to IO and I'll send it to sub one, which is the bass. These guys are drums. They'll both go to sub three. Okay. This is a synth. So we'll go to uh, sub two. And actually that synth needs samples assigned. Six track sample. Yep. Okay, let's throw some music in here real quick. Showed you how to set up a template. 